I know, y'all. I took a little break. I took a little break, family. I had to. I had to get my energy back up. Oh, yeah. I had to get my energy back up, y'all. This thing looks funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. What's up, family? How y'all doing? What's up? Come on into the room. I'm going to pause this. Y'all come on in. As you come in, family, tap the screen for me so we can notify other people if they woke. Uh, because TikTok don't send out notifications to everyone. Um, so I'm depending on you guys to like let other people know that I'm live. What's up, boo? You've been waiting on me. <laughs> I believe a lot of people been waiting on me to go live. <laughs> y'all know how it is, y'all. Like I love what I do, don't get me wrong. Um, but this could be a little bit draining, okay? Especially when you tap into certain people energies. It's not so much as my collective reading, it's, it's when I do my personal reading sometimes that really drains me because you got some people that is really going through a lot and I don't fault them, you know. Um, they come to me for advice and I tap into their energy and because my energy is vibing high, I end on taking I take on their energy. And they kind of drain me. I give them my good energy and I take on all their negative energy or their bad energy. Uh, so I have to recharge. I do. But y'all, I am here. I already laid down the spread because I wanted to sit here and kind of meditate over it. And I'm actually getting a lot of different energies. Okay. So I'm going to read one storyline and then I'll tell you guys another storyline. But I'm picking up a lot of energy here. Okay. Uh, the first card that I got out was Smart Woman and Knowledge. So, family, you could be coming up. I feel like, family, for some of you guys, you're trying to come up with a solution here. You're working on a problem, trying to figure something out. Um, that's what I'm hearing. For some of you guys, it's like you're trying to figure something out. Now, this could be a problem that you're currently going through at this time. But I feel like um, you're being very analytical or you're seeing things from a different perspective at this time, okay? And I do feel like this could be regarding your family, okay? Especially if you got kids, uh, if you got a household, uh, you run your household, you know what I'm saying? You the breadwinner. I feel like it's something you're trying to figure out here. And this could be regarding your finances, okay? Um, you could be doing a lot of research at this time. Okay, you could be doing some research online. Some of you guys, you could be looking for another job or like a secondhand job, you know, to bring in. I'm hearing extra money for some of you. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're trying to find out the best possible solution. Because for some of you guys, I do feel like you, they go to train. I haven't heard the train all night. For some of you guys, I feel like you could have walked away from a job here because we got community coming in in reverse. You could have walked away from a job because it was draining you. It could have actually caused a lot of trauma in your life. I'm hearing PTSD. Um, you could you could have been like a firefighter. You could have been in the military. For some of you guys, you could have been a nurse like me. Okay, especially when COVID hit or like for some of you guys, this could be any job, but I feel like it was draining you. It was depleting you. Something here wasn't worth the money is what I'm picking up on. And you could have decided to walk away from this. Okay, um, because it was too stressful. Something here was too stressful. But I feel like some time that went by for a lot of you guys, you don't process that trauma or you don't heal from that trauma. And for some of you, you're coming up with some type of solution here. You're coming up with a solution regarding what you should do. Like I, for many of you, you could already have a job, but I'm picking up that you're looking for like extra income or a second stream of income here. I feel like you're about to find it. It's a net or a few flying here. I feel like you're about to find it. Okay, after doing some type of research, for some of you guys, there could be a friend or somebody that's going to be recommending you to a job, and I feel like you're going to fit right in, 
are you you're noticing that things then change like say for instance you don't go back to the same job that you was at you could end up going to another job um, and this could be a better position or higher pay but it's like you really like what you do um, you got people that help you you're not overloaded with responsibilities I feel like family, if this is what you want and this is what's about to come in towards you, especially if you're looking at this time. Okay, yeah, family, you're going to be living the good life because I'm picking up multiple streams of income. Like this is not your only source of income. So like say for instance, you've been trying to save up for a car or apartment or you've been trying to save up for a house. I feel like this is going to be the extra money you need in order to get what it is that you want. All right, but there are some people that's going to be hating on y'all. I'm just letting y'all know now, you know, you got some damn enemies out there that do not want to see you shine. Or they always talk shit behind your back. This could also be your family. Okay. Some of you guys, you already know you got some hating ass family members. But um, yeah, I am picking up like gossip. There's going to be people that's talking about this or people that's mad because you're about to get the bag. That's what I'm hearing. Whatever it is that you guys are trying to go after, you're going to get it. But you're not going to be paying them no damn attention. Okay? Um, yeah, this is like not being phased by the naysayers. You know, some of them could have said, you know, she said she wasn't going to never do this. Or he said um, he wasn't going to do this again. Now look at him. But it's not like whatever you guys are doing now, I feel like you're still going to be doing, especially if you got like a um, home-based business. But this is you guys opening up multiple streams of income. Like you got money coming in that's going to end up taking you to the next level. Okay. For some of you guys, you could be starting um, something online. Okay. That's going to take you to the next level. But you're not going to be paying attention to the naysayers here. Okay. Um, I'm hearing a wish is about to come true. Something you've been wanting <clears throat> for a very, very long time is about to come true. It's about to take place. <clears throat> but um, I'm hearing your trust in the process here. <sighs> for some of you, like I said, you got some people that um, is really trying to keep their eyes on you. Or it's like these people want to be you. They want to control your life. Um it's like they trying to stop you. For some of you, you got people who's trying to live their life through you. All right. This could definitely be a, a, a mother figure. Okay. Or somebody who, somebody could have a strong presence in your life that's trying to like tell you, you shouldn't do this. You need to do that. Um, you Family, I feel like you're not going to pay these people no attention because this is you realizing that this is the only life that you have. Or it's like you're looking at it like you don't live your life. Let me live my life. I know what's best for me. I know what's best for my household. So I am seeing like you blocking certain shit out here. Okay. Ding dong. <laughs> okay. For some of you guys, I'm also picking up there's an energy here of somebody who have been discovered by their family. Or like somebody family, um, I'm picking up family being nosy as hell. Somebody could be from the LGBTQ community. Um, they got people around them or people in their family here that's been snooping around. They done found out the truth about this person. Okay. But whatever is going on with this person that's in the LGBTQ community, this person is working on healing some trauma here. I'm also hearing exposed. So they're going to, for some of them, they're going to end up exposing somebody in their family that could have um, SA'd them when they was younger. The truth is coming out, okay? Um, yeah, it's like, f for some of them, it's like these people don't want to hear it, but they need to hear it because it's like they are the main ones that's gossiping about this situation. But for some of them, they was the cause of this person ending up the way that they were okay something is coming out but whoever this is family i do feel like they're healing here but the only way that they're able to heal is to let the truth out let the cat out the bag and like i said some people is not going to want to hear it <laughs> okay let's see y'all let's see what's the energy for this weekend 
Spirit. Show me what I need to see for my collective. What do they need to know? Truth and clarity. Show me what I need to see. If y'all don't mind tapping this screen. What's up, Christy? What's up, Melinda? Show me what I need to see for the people who need to hear a message at this time. The more you interact with me, the more I'm able to pick up on your energy. Show me what I need to see. What's the main theme here for this weekend? What do the collective need to know? What's the main theme? Mm, five of Swords. I'm hearing somebody is standing up for themselves. Okay, somebody's standing up for themselves here, family. All right, you could be an Aquarius or somebody is an Aquarius. Don't have to be. We got the devil. <laughs> Okay, you could be a Capricorn. Somebody could be a Capricorn. It's influencing this. Okay, yeah. Three of Wands in the reverse. Somebody is trying to keep you stuck, family. It's influencing this. Yeah, Ten of Cups, they don't want to see you happy. Okay, for some of you guys, it's a person that's trying to get you to be dependent on them. All right, but this shit ain't working. What's the outcome? Six swords. <laughs> Look, we got the page of swords. Okay, family, for some of you, like I said, you're coming up with a solution or you're seeing something clearly. Um, there, this could have been on your mind for a while, but I feel like you're looking at a situation from different angles. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's like you realize that it was certain people that was trying to stop you or hold you back or block you from what it is that you know you need to do. I feel like these people been operating in their devilish energy. This is having control. There's somebody who want control over your life. They want to keep you stuck. It's like they don't want you exploring new options. Um, this could be business options, jobs. Uh, this could also be new people trying to come into your life. Somebody has been trying to block you. Yeah. Um, for some of you guys, you done took a major setback and you're realizing this now. But I feel like you're changing something up. You're not going back to the past. You're doing something to change your life. But um, it's people that's mad about this. And I feel like it's forcing you guys to move on, okay? But I feel like you've been having a pretty rocky family. Like, I'm hearing troubled waters. For some of you guys, you, you've been really in your emotions or you've been battling some type of trauma here. But you're finally over this. And now that you're over this, it's like spirit is moving you into a different direction, a new direction, okay? But it's some people that want to stop this. Okay, we got Pisces here, Aries. Let's see. Let me, let me clarify this. Spirit, why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, some of you guys, it's like people trying to um, play my games with you. Or there's people around you, family, that's very manipulative. And Spirit is wanting for you to watch out for these people. You're going to be able to tell if they got your best interest at heart. Um, yeah, because you know that this is the only so solution or somebody know that this is going to solve your problems. But it's like they want to keep you down. Some of you guys, there's somebody who want to keep you down or they don't want to see you rise. They don't want to see you go to that next level. But you're about to chunk up the deuces, okay? Misery loves company. And for a lot of you, yeah, you're deciding to walk away here. We got the Eight of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to try to stop you. Or they might say something very impulsively or very recklessly. And you're going to be able to tell that this is somebody who don't have your best intentions. Okay? Um, yeah, I keep hearing it's like they want to live their life through you or they want you to be in the same uh, situation as them. But yeah, it's like they want to stop you guys from going towards your happiness here. This shit is crazy. Who is this trying to stop them, spirit? 
Oh, we got the King of Cups in the reverse. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, this could be a woman or a man, but whoever this is, they operate in their masculine energy. I feel like this is somebody who um, is still going through a lot of pain or a lot of hurt here, especially from their past. This could have been somebody who suffered from father issues is what I'm hearing too. Um, to some of you guys, this could be an ex-lover. There could be an ex-lover here that do not want to see you guys moving on. Like, they could be calling you or texting you out of the blue. This could be somebody who's writing you long messages or I'm hearing emails. Somebody could have wrote you a letter if they got your address. But I'm kind of getting like poking and prodding. It's like they're trying to get a reaction out of you. Or this is somebody who wants you to come back to them. Whoever this person is, they're acting very reckless right now. Why is the three of wands in the reverse? We got the queen of cups in the reverse. The king and the queen both came out here in the reverse. Like I said, whoever this is, they do not want to see you guys move on. They want you to wait on them. For some of them, it's like they're trying. This person could be trying to change, but... It's like they want you to wait on them. They don't want you guys to move on here. But I feel like this person could still have a lot of trauma that they need to heal. A lot of you guys, you're not healed from something here. But this person has not. They want you guys uh, to come back together. Okay. But for some of you guys, like I said, it could be a mother here. Somebody is trying to stop you guys. Okay, from going after your happiness. And I feel like you see something clearly now. It could be multiple people around you that do not want to see you be happy. For some of you guys, you already know who these people are. But it's like, for some of you, you keep giving them chance after chance. Yeah. Mm. It's like they don't want to see nobody else love you. They don't want to see you in no, no relationship. They don't want to see you getting your bag or making good money. It's like they want to see you down and out. For some of you guys, it's, these people been wishing ill intent on you. Okay? Or trying to send negative energy your way. But um, I feel like they don't lost power. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, these people around you, they don't lost some type of power. They could have, they done lost power over you is what I'm hearing. Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here? They done lost power over you, Nine of Cups. All right. Um, yeah, you're walking away from this, this lack energy here, not feeling like, not feeling fulfilled. And you are going straight into your Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. <clears throat> But some of you guys are realizing that you got to turn your back on certain people that you was dealing with in order to get this nine of cups, in order to get this wish fulfillment. I just heard you're going to you're going to have to do what you need to do for you. OK, yeah, you're going to have some people stressing out in their head, <clears throat> mad or upset because something didn't work. I'm hearing break away. Um, by Kelly Clarkson. You're breaking away. You're about to spread your wings, family. Why well, is the Six of Swords here? You're about to spread your wings, boo. I just got chills all over me. For some of you guys, you have been wanting to purchase a home. And this could be for your kids. Or like relocating or... um. Giving your kids what you know they deserve. You know what I'm saying? You could have been like strict on a strict budget or for some of you guys, you've been going through something financially. But I feel like there's another stream of income that's opening up for you. I keep hearing that. And this is giving me the energy of like a new home because it's no blinds up, no lights are on. This is like your ancestors coming in to give you a gift. Okay, because you done healed your inner child. There's a gift that's coming towards you. I'm hearing they gave you the answer this week. They gave you the answer this week or they're giving you the answer this week. Uh, for some of you guys, if you was in that prayer event that we had, um, 
you could have received some type of download and this download is going to help you okay but yeah i'm hearing a gift and look this came out right under the six of swords so this is kind of giving me like your ancestors are taking you towards calmer waters okay because it was somebody that was draining your energy look at how this woman here is white now she looked kind of young on the other tarot decks, she looked young, but something here was draining you or depleting you. You're being restored is what I'm hearing. We got six, six. So something could definitely be taking place this month. I'm hearing this is a gift. This gift is coming in here, but this is coming in from your ancestors. They're showing you something. Okay. I tried to tell y'all, tried to tell y'all. Let's see. I'll do this. It's coming in, family. Oh. I'm picking up like family. If there was anybody that was sending you spiritual attacks, like all of their attacks done been reversed on them. Um, for some of you, it's like they was trying to bind your energy here as well. They wanted you to conform to their will. Shamanic Burke. Sorry, y'all. They wanted you to conform to their will, but something was broken off you. I'm picking up that this could have been a curse. Okay? Somebody wanted you to stop believing in yourself or give up on something. Um, and you could have put a lot of energy into this. For some of you guys, you could have walked away from something that you loved. But um, it, it could have been very traumatic to you. Um, but for some of you guys, I'm getting like a new position or a new start. It's going to be better than it was the last time is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys, you're moving up in rank. Like, I'm just using this for example. Like, say for instance, you was a firefighter and you got years and years and years of experience. Of experience. So, like, say for instance, you apply, you apply to... Um, a job to be a firefighter they can end up giving you a chief position because you done did this so long or you got a lot of experience i'm picking up like things are going to be different i keep hearing that it's going to be different this time spirit show me what i need to see what do the collective need to know i'm hearing a new doorway okay family we got radical and unstable. Some of you could have made a radical decision here, but this caused your life to be unstable. All right. Um, but this might not have, for some of you, you might not have knew why you did something. Okay. But something here was draining your energy and you felt like you couldn't stay in this situation or stay with this person. I'm also picking up like there's people around you that's very radical or mentally unstable. Spirit, show me what I need to see. <laughs> Spirit is saying you're going to have to sacrifice or banish these people out of your life. Okay. Um, they can't stay around you because these are the type of people that will drain your energy. Or like I'm kind of getting pessimistic. It's like they want to put all their fears and worries off on you. Some of you, you could be an empath and you absorb other people's energy. So there is certain people, family, that you're going to have to stay away from. Are you, even though you love them, you're going to have to walk away here. Spirit, show me what I need to see. What do the collectors need to know? Mm-hmm. We got a new romance will enter into your life soon. So some of you guys, this is an ex that's been trying to hold you back. Um, but I feel like there is a new lover that's about to come into your life. Yeah, you had to banish this person you was dealing with in the past in order to get this new lover. Like I said, this could have been somebody who reached out to you. But family, you probably done stopped talking to this person or messaging them. You could have blocked them for good. And now that you have completely cut off their energy, this new person is about to come towards you. Okay? Yeah, something here was backbreaking. 
It could have been back breaking work to try to heal things with this person. Because this was somebody who was refusing to give up certain things here. I'm hearing low vibrational uh, energies or people that this person was dealing with. They was refusing to give this up. But for some of you guys, you're about to have a a new romance when it comes to work, okay? Because something here was uh, backbreaking regarding work. Or for some of you, you're about to meet a new romance at work. Something like that. Mm, let's see, spirit. Okay, yeah, we got people are taking screenshots of you. So, family, for some of you, like I said, it could have been people literally taking screenshots of you or um, trying to bind your energy, trying to prevent you from moving on or being happy in your life. Something here has been broken, okay, especially if this was some type of spell or a curse. It's done been broken and whatever it is, it's done went back to the people that sent it, okay? Okay, we got it's time to embrace your life fully. Yeah, family, you are receiving divine instructions at this time. All right, yeah. And we got resilient, with, withstanding a storm, recover quickly. So, yeah, even though, family, you've been going through a lot, something here has been backbreaking. Um for, for some of you guys, you've been going through a storm for a very, very long time. Spirit is coming in to break you free from whatever this is that's been holding you back. And you are receiving um, a lot of instructions, a lot of downloads. I'm hearing light codes. I keep hearing light codes. And this is going to help you guys embrace your life fully. Because somebody was really trying to suppress your energy or suppress your light. Something here was draining you. And for a lot of you, it's the people that you was around, okay? Or the people that you was letting come in and out of your life. It's like finally you see something clearly now. And now that you see what's been holding you back, you're breaking away. Spirit. Oh. Hold on now. Trust yourself like you never have before. We got a lot of yellow over here. With all this yellow, this is giving me solar plexus energy. Somebody was draining you of your um of your power, of your strength. Somebody wanted you guys not to believe in yourself. Or even to believe that you could be happy again. Or yeah. Or even like being around these people. Like I said, it was draining you energetically. But Spirit is saying you're going to be happy again. Happiness is coming. A lot of joy is about to flow into your life. I'm, I'm also getting the energy of people using you. Like say for instance, somebody call you and the only thing they talk about is negative shit or shit that they see on the news. You could be in the best mood ever, but it's like as soon as you talk to these people, you automatically feel drained. I'm, I'm picking up like that was definitely a sign that these were certain people that you needed to cut off. Because it, it was like, family, you was giving them your good energy and you was taking on all of their negative energy. Okay? Change comes with growth and evolution. So, yeah. Everything you lost will be returned ten times full. Okay? Karma. <laughs> karma, is, karma is here. It ain't coming. It's here. Yes, um, but I am seeing a lot of growth and a lot of change here, family. Make sure you're taking time out to pay attention to the signs, the symbols, um, anything you like see that catches your eye, music, or like certain things you listen to, or like say for instance, you say an affirmation that morning and you go to the store and somebody say the same affirmation to you. Like I'm picking up confirmation on top of confirmation. All right, something here is going to come very naturally and very easy. Okay. One month from now, for some of you, okay, there's a drastic change that's about to happen one month from now. Okay, some of you guys, um, you could have had writer's block. Okay, especially if you're writing on books, if you're writing books or... Um, 
I'm hearing content, something about books and content here. So I feel like things are going to be flowing for you in um, a month from now. Some of you guys, you could be thinking about doing cosmetology or learning how to braise, do braids or locks. I feel like if this is a business, it's going to get up off the ground like a month from now. But um, it could be anything, family. But whatever this is you're going after, you're going to have to trust yourself, okay? But I'm picking up like blessings coming in. Okay, suffering from a loss or misfortune. Some of you guys, you've been suffering from a loss or misfortune here. But all of that is about to change around. But I'm also picking up like people around you. It's like they're going to suffer. Yeah, there's grief here. For some of them, it's because they've been refusing to heal or work on the, their self. These are people who realize that no, they no longer got control over you. And you're actually happy. Okay, I'm picking up like it's going to make them feel some type of way. But like I said, family, whatever this is you've been worried about, things are definitely going to be changing around here. You're going to notice a big change. I'm hearing that song, a milli, a milli, a milli. So this might not be a million dollars, but for some of you family, it's going to put you in another tax bracket. Okay. We got lack, willpower, and strength. So yeah, family, you're, rec you're reclaiming your strength and your willpower at this time. You're evolving as well. I'm, I'm seeing the phoenix here. We got grandfather spirit is around. So, family, for some of you guys, you could have lost a grandfather. This could have been a grandfather you didn't know or a great-grandfather. Um, I just heard a man of the village. A man of the village. This could have been a chief if you're Native American. Um, don't have to be. For some of you guys, you had a grandfather um, that could have died when you was a baby. Whoever this is, this is a very strong masculine energy, but they're working on your behalf here to take you to calmer waters, to bring uh, relief into your life. I'm hearing I am your protector. So this could be a guardian angel. For some of you guys, um, you haven't worked with your grandfather. They came in through the portal. We just went through a portal. I don't know if you guys know that, but we did. Um... I've been looking at like the earth res resonance, um, the sound of the earth. It hit a spike on the 17th, but I had been picking up like the energy of the earth was shifting, but it spiked on the 17th. And I really felt it on the 19th when I did that meditation. I actually saw a portal in that meditation. So I'm picking up that this is a new energy around you. Um... You know how wrestlers, when they be wrestling and then they tap the other person in. So for some of you, I'm picking up like a feminine energy could have left so that this grandfather energy could come in because you're moving into a new phase in your life. But I'm here and I'm here to help you. This, this is definitely a guardian angel because just holding this card, I got tingles running through my fingertips all the way down to the sole of my feet. I'm picking up guardian angel type of energy here. Yeah, they're about to restore your life. They're also helping you guys be resilient here. This could have been somebody who worked very hard in their life. They could have did backbreaking work. Um, but I feel like you take your resilience also after your grandfather. They could be on your mother or your father's side. But... um they definitely stepping in to restore you here. Yeah, they're giving you instructions. Okay, last one now, Spirit. <laughs> I was just about to pull my trinkets, y'all. And Spirit said, grab the uh, Kipper's deck. Show me what I need to see for the collective. What else, Divine Holy Spirit? Truth and clarity for the collective. That energy was strong. It felt like electric that was going down my legs. Spirit, show me what I need to see. What do, 
We got toil and labor coming in in reverse. Like I said, somebody did back-breaking work. Okay, something here was a lot of labor, uh, but this came in in a reverse. I'm picking up something that's going to be easy now. Okay, I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be in your head about it. Okay, or you could be going back and forth in your head about a situation. Um, you could fear that it's going to be like it was the last time, or you might fear that this is not going to work out the way you want it to, but there's a need for you guys to, um, get out of your head about this situation. I do feel, we got distant horizon. I'm telling you, this is a gift. We, I'm also kind of picking up like people around you going to be in your, in their head because you're choosing to, um, walk away. Or you're choosing another path or a different path here. But whatever this is, it's going to bring in a gift. All right. We got poverty coming in in reverse. So like I said, family, for some of you guys, you were going through something financially. Um, but I'm hearing it's going to be restored to you. Um, there could be like a community that's going to help you. Or this is you guys getting back out in the community, but this could be a spiritual community. This could be your community that's online. But for some of you, this is like a physical community here. All right. That's going to bring in um, this change or this gift. But something is being reversed. It's like somebody wanted you guys to be in this energy. Spirit, what else? For the collective okay we got thoughts so yeah a lot of people are going to be in their head about you family because they see that you're reversing something or that you're no longer um holding on to something that was holding you back but we got gift yeah they know something is coming towards you They're worried. Somebody here is worried about what's coming towards you. But sudden wealth and main female. <laughs> like I said, jackpot. Okay. Uh, Millie, uh, I keep hearing that. For some of you guys, you could end up going to the casino or something. Or I picked that up, I think, a couple of readings ago where I said somebody was going to play the lotto or somebody going to end up going to the casino um, and they're going to end up hitting. Okay. That could be for somebody very specific. But I'm really picking up, family. This is something that you're doing here. Something you're doing is, is going to take you to new heights, okay? It's going to bring in a gift you've been waiting for for a very long time. And then we got community again. Something regarding you guys' community. You might end up like starting some type of community. I don't know. Awareness or... For some of you guys, this could be a char charity or something. But for some of you, like if you have been mainly working for yourself, you could be getting back out in a community. Um, but I'm picking up like multiple streams of income coming towards you. Yeah, I'm hearing you're about to get paid what you're worth. You're about to get paid what you're worth, family. Here, show me what I need to see for the collection. What else do they need to know? Speak and clarity. For the collective. Hmm. Wow. We got two hearts here. So we do got a heart, but it's attached to angel wings. I'm definitely picking up on guardian angel type of energy. <clears throat> There's an angel around you, family, that um, really love you. And they're really working to heal something in your life, your heart, your finances, um, whatever it is you've been going through, um, this could also be love. Some of you, it's been real hard to like get back out in the dating scene, but I feel like they're about to bring some, someone special into your life. You didn't see this coming. Are you not going to see this coming? It's going to happen out of the blue, but I am picking up whatever they're doing. This is going to bring a lot of healing, a lot of love into your life. We got two hearts, like I said, okay? So, I'm here and meeting you halfway. Some, it's like 
you're going to be taking action or you have to take action in order for them to meet you halfway or in order for them to bring you this person, this thing, this whatever this is. You're meeting them halfway. You're meeting your angels halfway here. All right. We also got the owl coming out. This is the ancestor trinket. So you could be hearing owls, okay? Um, but owls can see at night. This is like seeing through your darkness or seeing through the storm. You're going to be able to see something clearly here. An uh, owl is also, for me, very knowledgeable, okay? You're getting some type of knowledge here. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is coming from the spiritual realm. Yeah, somebody you lost or somebody who's no longer a part of your life is helping you to get this new beginning. Okay? Yeah. yeah whatever. Somebody could have an owl tattoo or something. I keep... I keep pulling wings. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you, the ancestors and the spirit guides and the angels are heavily around you, family. Okay, they're bringing in a lot of growth. You're about to notice your life is going to blossom here as well. But I'm picking up also like family tree, something regarding your home or like your immediate family like your kids you know your husband whoever this is i'm talking to there is a change coming into your home but i am picking up like generational wealth here as well and we got a key so this is a new opportunity that you're about to um unleash this is giving me royalty this is like a royal key Um, I just heard a secret garden. <laughs> Somebody could have watched that movie or like they could be one of your favorite movies or something. But I heard a secret garden. But yeah. It's like people is not going to expect the life that the most high is about to bestow on you. Or it's like also like your angels are wanting for you to keep it a secret as long as you can. Um, especially if something new is coming into your life or you're about to start something new um, because you're going to flourish in this garden. I'm picking up financial abundance, love, true love, unconditional love, stability, hopes, wishes, desires. This is coming in. All right. That's what I'm hearing, family. Y'all, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed this content. I know most people be wanting just love, but I try to figure out, or I try to pick up on the energy um, that spirit want me to. And this is very prevalent. Like, this is something that um, is going to cause life-changing results. Yeah, I'm hearing breaking away. I'm actually seeing clouds breaking away. For some of you, it could be storming a lot where you are. But um, I'm hearing that this is going to be a sign. You're going to notice that it's going to stop storming in your area or the sun is going to be out more. Okay. But I'm hearing this is definitely going to be a sign here. Yeah, something about storms. That's what I got. Yes, raining a lot lately. Yeah, I feel like if this is resonating with you, boo, you're going to notice that that energy is about to be washed away or like moved. Okay, I'm seeing like a depart. Almost like when uh, Moses departed the Red Sea, like depart. Mother Earth is going to be working with us. That's what I'm hearing, too. And family, y'all know I have been telling y'all, make sure y'all eating more organic foods. And I've been picking that up a lot in the collective readings. Y'all heard what they done did, right, with the FDA. Y'all hear what they did? Um, they done approve, like, clone meats. 
and they talking about it's just going to be at like fast restaurant. No, it's not. They're going to have that shit all through the stores. I know they are. Um, family, y'all definitely pay attention to what you eat. Um, especially when it comes to meats. And that bioengineering foods. Pay attention to your labels. Read your labels, okay? Um, a lot of that stuff was suppressing our energy, too. So, I mean, if you can, grow your vegetables. Oh, I know everybody can't do it, but um, if you can, grow your vegetables and stuff like that. Or, you know, get it from, like, your local food um, marketplace. We got, We actually got a place out here. <clears throat> where they sell a lot of vegetables. It's a guy that sells a lot of vegetables off his farm. And that's why I done started getting my, my vegetables and stuff at. But y'all, just pay attention to, to the food that you eat and the water that you drink. I know, like, sometimes you can't afford it because we are we are going through an inflation right now. But if you can, by all means, family, watch what you ingest in your body because it's like they're doing things to keep us sick they profit off of us being sick okay uh that's how they keep us coming back to the doctor and they we have to pay for high ass medicines they profit off of us and it's like they want to keep us sick but um family i feel like we're going through a major change um, I'm here. I keep. I've been here in revolution for a long time. But um, the way to heal yourself is through food. Food is medicine first. So, family, try to eat as healthy as you can. Okay, and try to get as much sunlight as you can too. Like I said, something about um, the storms being moved from your area. You're going to notice like that's going to be confirmation for you. You're going to notice your energy picking back up. Oh, thank you, love. I hope y'all uh, enjoyed this reading, though.